Over the past few months, AI has been plaguing the industry when it comes to art and writing. I think you already know where I stand on it, but let's have a hot takes discussion about AI. Welcome back to Hot Takes Discussion. I'm your host, John Palladino, and I am really excited to get into it. So let's do that. It's no secret that AI has done some amazing things. Midjourney was a spectacular tool to play around with. I uh, dabbled in it a little bit myself. I didn't pay for any of it because AI art simply isn't anything I'm interested in, really. But it was a neat little trick. Recently, ChatGPT has been surging as well. And I believe it's this service that has been pumping out written works. Some teachers are afraid that AI-submitted papers are going to be a significant problem going forward. Other publications, like uh, I think it was Clark's World magazine, has shut down submissions entirely because of the huge amount of submissions they've been getting that are written by AI and submitted by humans. As disgusting a practice as that is, it shouldn't be that shocking when it comes to the indie writing industry. For years, the indie writing industry has been plagued by people who have been trying to put out unedited g bullshit. Books that are so poorly written and barely looked at and then attempted to be turned around for a significant profit. Now that's given the indie book writing industry a terrible name. And often there are readers out there who, when they hear a book is self-published, they're not interested. Why? Because there's a lot of people who are just trying to profit off of zero work. These same people are also the exact market AI is targeting. If you're not willing to put in the work, why wouldn't you use something that's going to make it even easier for you? Now, we've already seen reports that things like Midjourney and other uh, art AI programs has been using copyrighted material to create these images. And even if it's not copyrighted, it's not art that's drawn by the AI. It's just art that's copying from established works out there and meshing things together. Blending it, if you will. Now, I'm no artist. I've never claimed to be an artist. But I can't imagine that sitting very well with anyone who sits down and draws their art. Just like it doesn't sit well with me, an author, when I hear that people are submitting books and short stories to be published that are written by an AI. There's no work involved. That's not a creation from your head. Simply put, it's lazy. And I don't understand why people want to go along with that. Now, AI has done some amazing things in the past. Look at Disney's Star Wars. AI has done some cool... Uh, facial reconstructions for actors that are no longer alive. But when you look at it, as cool as it may seem, it's very obvious that it's not a real person. And so for that reason, I'm not a big fan. I can't doubt the technology isn't cool, but I just don't see a point in using something that's obviously not real. AI's done some other really cool things. They've had uh, voices that have been AI reconstructions of real people but that's a whole new territory of issues recently there were uh videos that popped up uh podcasts where an ai simulated the voice of like joe rogan uh pre former presidents right even the current president biden and maybe the videos or the recordings rather that were submitted are harmless enough at the moment i think it was you know biden and Trump playing Uno, I think, was the one that I saw or listened to. And yes, it was very funny. But the scary thing is just how accurate the AI actually made that sound of the voice. Not even the sound, but also the content of what they were saying. Now, right now, I believe it's not too difficult to detect if something is made by AI, at least in some regard. The problem comes 
when what happens if someone puts out a video of President Biden or another former president or a future president even, and they stage a very politically damning reconstruction, maybe a secret meeting is leaked, and that could have huge political ramifications, right? When you have other countries out there that are ready to just blow up at the moment's notice, you know, you mentioned Winnie the Pooh and what is it, China that uh, can't even handle that? Uh, so you, have, you gotta be careful about these things and that's what worries me about AI. But let's take it back from the real world and bring it back to the more creative side of things because while I think most people agree that politically AI could be a very bad thing, there's a strange argument going on when it comes to art and when it comes to writing. A lot of people seem to think it's acceptable. People think, oh, I'll use this as a writing prompt. I'll just put in what I want to write. It'll shoot me out everything I want, and then I'll just edit it and fill it in as I go. But that's not writing. That's altering an AI's bland reconstruction of someone else's story that exists and reshaping it to fit whatever story maybe you want so that you can quickly get it out and published. It's not writing. It's not creative. You're not doing anything interesting. And I think that's why it's wrong. Same thing with AI art. If you're not drawing it yourself or you're not commissioning someone to pay for it and you're just stealing reconstructions of other people's art, is that fair? No. And it also looks like shit. Why would you want that on your book cover? I don't know. But some people do. They're trying to take the cheap way out. But here's the sad fact of things. People who are trying to skip out and uh, maybe avoid some costs, they don't tend to do too well in the industry. You know why? People can tell. People can tell when you use AI art. People can tell when something is written by AI. They don't want that. They want something that's more real, something more creative. When it comes to writing and when it comes to art, AI isn't anywhere that's special yet. They can copy things really well, and they can reconstruct other things based on established works, but it's not, it's not original. It's not yours. It's stolen. It's borrowed. And while some people might say, all writers do that, that's true. But most writers don't download someone else's book and then re-edit it just to fit what they're writing. I think that's the biggest problem. People aren't really thinking about the real ramifications. They're trying to justify what they're doing based on, well, it's a cool technology. And yeah, if you're looking at this from a technological point of view, it is a cool technology. It's wild that the computer can do this stuff now. But the creative side of me knows that it's not right. It knows that it's not good for the industry. And frankly, it's sad to me that people think it's okay to use. It's kind of a short video, but I wanted to get my point out there. It might not be the hottest of takes, but I think the discussion in general is a hot take. So I'll call it a hot takes discussion. If you agree with me, leave a comment down below. If you disagree with me, this might be one of the times where I will strongly defend myself, but you're still right to your opinion, so feel free to comment down below. If you like this video, maybe give it a like. Thank you. I hope you guys have a great day.